Hello everybody, um, <clears throat> just wanted to do a little discussion response dealio here. Um, the Spinster's Library did a video called, it's a numbers game. <clears throat> and uh, it was very enlightening. There were some things I didn't know. And um, so that was interesting. And um, one of the reasons why I thought I should do this video, I was watching her video going, should I do a response video to this? And while I was saying that, she showed me the recent subscribers. Well, she didn't show me the recent. She just showed the camera the recent subscribers. <clears throat> and she was saying, these aren't my latest subscribers. These are just the ones that YouTube thinks are the most important. And I was on there. So um, that, that, just, um, that just filled my heart with joy that YouTube thinks I'm important enough to tell the Spinster's library that I subbed to her channel. So, um, but you know what's weird? I'll tell you this. That was a while ago when I subbed to her channel, and I haven't seen a single video of hers pop up in my sub feed. So, um, I don't know what that means, or if uh, the algorithm thinks like, yeah, I know you subscribed, but I don't know if we think that this is what you really want to subscribe to. So I wish that wasn't a thing. I wish, like, I mean, this is more of a viewer problem than anything else, but, like, there are channels that, like, I don't even know I'm subscribed to because I never see their videos in my feed. And so, like, all, like, someone will talk about a video or a video will pop up on my homepage and I'll click on it and I'll go, oh, dude, this is great. And then I go to subscribe and I'm already subscribed to them. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I've never even seen this person on my fucking feed before. So that's annoying. Um, another thing, um, some of you might not believe that um, Steve Donahue, if you've seen his response video, that he doesn't um, look at his analytics. And I will guess that he uploads his videos either on his phone or on like an iPad using the actual YouTube app and not the YouTube studio app. Um, and that's probably why he never sees his analytics. Um, if he were to upload his videos on a computer, he would obviously see the analytics because they shove it down your fucking throat. Um, but when I upload videos off my phone, um, I never see anything. And I didn't even know there was a fucking YouTube studio app until about a week ago. So, um, so there's that. So for all the haters going, yeah, bullshit, you probably look at that shit every day. Um, that's what's going on. Um, now, Steve said something really great in his video, which was because in the Spinster's Library video, she goes over all the analytics and stuff and talks about how, like, it makes her feel... And then interviews a bunch of booktubers um, to find out how they feel about it and interviewed them all separately and they all kind of have the same answers, roughly. And um, it is very stressful for some people. And um, that is true for them. But like most things, there are no absolutes and... Um, truth is non-existent. It's a figment of our imagination. So, like, Steve's truth is that he doesn't look at his analytics. Everyone on the Spencer's Library channel, like, looks at it and freaks out over it. Not on her channel, but in the people she talked to in the video. And both of those things are completely fine. And it just depends on how you feel about stuff. Like... Um, 
this kind of turned, I think, from booktubers being annoyed with how Google is making us feel into, like, hoping that new booktubers don't see this and get discouraged. So that's kind of, um, <clears throat> I don't know if that was um, the Spencer's Library, um, I think her name's Claudia, um, I don't know if that was her intention to have this video be something that does that. Um, but a lot of what people were talking about was editing and um, how much they work on that. And someone was talking about marketing and thumbnails and stuff. And I mean, there's YouTube, there's booktubers out there who don't really give a shit about their fucking thumbnails. They don't give a shit about <clears throat> their lighting. And then Bookish said something uh, kind of amazing, and I don't know how I feel about it. Um, he was saying that maybe... He, okay, I'm going to paraphrase this, and I hope I don't fuck this up and make it sound worse than it was or whatever. But he was saying that it might be like... Um, our white privilege that makes us uh, put videos up um, without giving a shit. Like, not combing your hair and your beard and, like, cleaning the house and getting good lighting and stuff like that. Um, because, like, we just don't care and we're held to a lower standard of what's acceptable. And, um... That's shocking. Like, I really hope that's not the case. But I'm trying to think of other booktubers. Um, like Steve, myself, who don't do thumbnails and who don't, um, like go on social media and like, check out my new video, which is cool if you do that. Um, lately, I've been... of the mindset of completely not giving a fuck, giving zero fucks about stuff. The analytics page is great, I guess, but there's so much information on there, and like YouTube's like, Hey, fucker, why don't you watch this video on how to do captions? Hey, fucker, why don't you watch this video on how to make enticing thumbnails? You know? And it's just like, I'm like, dude, I got shit to do, YouTube. I can't be watching fucking videos on how to fucking do shit. I just want to make my videos and fucking kick rocks. You know? That's what I want to do. And, like, there was one video I did um, probably about three weeks ago or two weeks ago. And when I opened my fucking thing to upload a video, all these fireworks started going off and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like, is it a holiday? And I'm like, Zo, is it a, is it a holiday? Like, I, I had no idea what the fuck was happening. And then it's like, oh, one out of ten. I'm like, oh. I can't remember what the video was. So I guess I could go back, but the fireworks are probably not going to be there. So that's going to kind of make it difficult to find. But in her video, she explained a lot of stuff about all of these things that I've been seeing for months and had no idea what the fuck it meant. Like, with the up arrows and down arrows. I mean, I understand that. I'm not a fucking idiot. But, like, um, just the shit, you know? And one of the things is, if we're going to talk about this in a should-you-make-your-own-YouTube channel, your booktube channel, you know? If we're going to talk about that, um, somebody said, I can't remember who it was on her video, or maybe it was Steve. I think it was someone on her video, though, but just said, like, make what you want to make, you know, and just fucking deal with it, you know, like, that's you, that's your channel, you're, you're being real, you're being genuine, you're being honest, like, that's usually what people want, you know, people want to be able to watch somebody that is talking to them like a fucking human, like a human friend, you know, um, just being open and fucking being real, you know, 
I think that's really what all anybody really wants. Yes, the books and stuff are big, but when you talk to a lot of people who watch BookTube, there's a lot of people, especially people who watch my channel, who say, I will never read any of the books you talk about because they all sound shit. But I like you, so I'm watching your channel. And that's fucking amazing. And most of the channels I watch, I wouldn't read fucking any of those books either. But I like these fucking people as people. So I watch their shit. So, like, my biggest advice to anyone starting a channel would be to just fucking be real and have a fucking personality. Whatever your personality is, have it and share it. Don't, like... Booktube automaton, like, I don't even know what the fuck that would be, but don't do that. Like, just be yourself. Now, as far as, like, making videos that people would like to watch, um, I'm getting just rammed in the back door with the things I've been wanting to make videos off of lately. So, um... And I don't, I try not to edit videos anymore because I just don't have the fucking time to do it. But I love doing booktube, so I'm just trying to like shove everything in, you know. Um, <clears throat> and I just use the computer on my 2013 MacBook Pro. So, um, and the mic that's in my 2013 MacBook Pro. And the light from my fucking desk lamp. Um... I talk about ring lights all the time. Do I want a ring light? Yes, it'll make my eyes pop, goddammit, and I'll look beautiful. But, like, do I really need to do that right now? Probably not. But back to my videos, like, <clears throat> I was doing a bunch of Bukowski videos. I was doing um, Lovecraft and Conan videos. I was doing, um, uh, oh, like this month, I'm doing Conspiracy Against the Human Race and Teatro Grotesco. You know, it's like, and I've been doing a bunch of poetry. Yeah, nobody likes poetry. Shocker. I wonder why that is. Um, but the thing is, is like, that's the shit I like, you know? So let me fucking do it. And like Steve was even talking about on his videos, when he did comic videos or does his comic book videos, it's fucking true, dude. I used to do comic book videos and they would just tank. And what I would see when I would go look at like my content after I upload a video, it tells you like right there, like on the right, like how many views each video has. And when I see like, oh, that one has 104, 108, 107, 40, 102. I'm like, wow. So um, I don't really know what a good ratio to subscriber count is as far as like how many videos you should have or how many views you should have based on your subscriber count. Like, I don't know if it's like the same, uh, percentage is like, um, email marketing. I would assume it would be roughly similar, but, um, I don't know if that's accurate. And then there's the whole thing, like, do more people watch your channel? Like, do most of your views from your videos come from subscribers or non-subscribers? That would be a huge thing to figure out. Like, I don't know if YouTube does that. Like, if it says, like, because um, I, I never have gone through the analytics past that dashboard page because I just don't have the fucking time to do it. And, um... I guess, like, what I'm trying to get at is do what you want to do. Read what you want to read. Like, book hauls for me used to be the biggest, like, quick um, views. Like, I would get, like, a hundred and something views within the first, like, day it's up. But I've noticed... That um, book hauls don't have a long tail, if you know what I'm saying. So you could do a book haul, um, or a TBR, or a wrap-up, and you'll get a lot of views right at the beginning, and then they just drop. 
Whereas if you do book reviews, which um, like don't get any views, you will constantly get whatever, like steadily get whatever that was. So like I remember saying a long time ago, I tripped out that my Necronomicon video was like my most viewed video. I'm like, how the fuck does that happen? Like, I didn't even really talk about it that much. I just, I mean, I talked about it a little bit, but um, I was talking about a bunch of other books, but I still get comments on that video all the time, and the comments are always about the Necronomicon. No one ever talks about the other books that I was talking about in that video. <clears throat> so, um, it's just, uh, it's weird, like, Book review videos you will have more views of for a longer period of time. And what is really funny, um, what I've heard people say, is that the videos they do on BookTube that aren't really about books get the most views. Like, um, Books I'm Not Reading said, my haircutting video is like the most viewed video I have. Um, somebody else was saying a video about her cat was her most viewed video that she's ever done. Um, reading vlogs, which are really more like, um, I don't know, like borderline reality show, like what did you do this week in real time? Those get more views than videos about books. So it's like when you think about it, like BookTube is a great community, but nobody gives a fuck about what books you're reading. They kind of do. That's usually how they find you. But most people just want to know that you're a fucking human being and not a fucking ridiculous fucking person, you know, that has no fucking soul. They want you to have fucking soul. They want to see what you do. Um, now, as far as like <clears throat> the algorithms and what Google is telling you, if that makes you feel bad, Google... YouTube, this is all a business, and the shit that they're showing you is the same shit that they would be putting in a fucking PowerPoint at a fucking Wednesday meeting to go over um, new ideas for growth and rebranding or some fucking stupid bullshit that they corporate speak to have a fucking meeting. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that, the stuff they're telling you isn't like, they're like, oh, we're going to make these people feel like shit. No, it's like, hey, you're making us money. We want you to make us more money. And in doing so, we're going to give you some of this money. So why don't we work together to let you know? It's all like analytics. That's what the fuck it is. It's like, how can you grow your business? How can you do this? How can you do that? YouTube doesn't care if you're doing fucking YouTube for the community. YouTube cares that you're doing YouTube to make them money. So they want you to make videos that people like to watch because they're a fucking business and they could take this away just like that at any fucking time. Because just like life, YouTube is meaningless. Life is meaningless. Everything's shit. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that's just how it is. So if you want to make YouTube videos or booktube videos, fucking do it and just be happy while you're doing it because this isn't always going to be there. Like, I'm not saying like the power is going to go out like worldwide and we're not going to have the internet anymore. Um, but like, um, YouTube can pull the plug whenever the fuck they want, you know, and then we'll be on fucking daily motion. What? Or Vimeo. Do those things even still work? Um, so yeah, so just like don't worry about it. Um, they're just trying to make you better by showing you numbers. The numbers aren't supposed to make you feel bad. The numbers are supposed to make you work harder. Um, but in Steve's video, he was right when he was saying like if you were getting paid fifty cents a year to fucking like go out of your goddamn mind at some shit job, you would fucking walk out of that job and burn the building to the fucking ground like. So this is obviously something we do because we love doing it. So just, you know, love do it. Love do it. Love doing it, you know? That's all good. I haven't even really fucking had my coffee yet, guys. This is going to be really hot. It's going to burn because it's in my big bubba. Most people would have edited that out. I just don't give a shit anymore. Like, I want to give a shit, but I just don't have fucking time. 
you know? I just want to get this video up so I can get on with other shit to do. So, don't worry about a lot of that stuff. But, you know, I've been doing BookTube for years now. I don't know how many. I'm not paying attention at the minute. And I took, like, six months off. And um, that really hurt my sub count. Um, but, like... It grows steadily, you know. Although I'm like two people away from 1500, I just want to get to 1500. I don't even give a shit. Like what I do, like I'll start making videos of me playing a kazoo, you know, whatever. I don't care. But like, I'm just so tired of YouTube on the analytics page making that number so fucking big in my face. Hey, you have 14. 197 subscribers, you piece of shit. What's wrong with you? Can't you find three more subscribers? <laughs> so, honestly, that's, like, um, probably as um, crazy as I get when it comes to looking at the analytics page. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, it's okay. You know, we're just hanging out. So... Um, do what feels right, do what you love, and um, have fun doing it. And w when you're making your videos, show us that you're having fun. Nobody wants to see a stick-up-the-ass motherfucker trying to be all fucking hoity-toity talking about Proust and shit. Nobody gives a shit, okay? Just fucking be a human and fucking talk to us like we're fucking people, okay? So other than that... Um, Hearts to all of you. Everything's meaningless. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.